Simplify. Square root of four to the power of four to the power of four. That's crazy. Firstly, what shall we do? This square root is very ugly, so we can rewrite it as four to the power of four to the power of four as the base and square root can be written as the half power. So it's four to the power of four to the power of four, then all to the power of one over two. Now be careful. How do we calculate four to the power of four to the power of four from the top or from the bottom? Of course, from the top. Firstly, you calculate four to the power of four, and this one is the exponent of our this base four. So you should calculate four to the power of four firstly, then the new base four. Now we have a formula: a to the power of m all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So you see, a is this four, and m is this four to the power of four as the exponent, and n is the exponent of the entire thing. So it'll be a is four, m is four to the power of four. Times n is one over two. So how shall we deal with this exponent? It can actually be written as four to the power of three times four, then times one over two. A to the power of m times a to the power of n is a to the power of m plus n. So four to the power of three times four. It is just four to the power of three times four to the power of one is equal to four to the power of three plus one, which is four to the power of four over here. Why did I do that? Because I want to cancel two from the denominator. Very good. So it is four to the power of four to the power of three times two. Because here we get two, so this guy can also be simplified. Firstly, let's deal with the four on the exponent. It is two squared to the power of three times two, and you know that two to the power of two to the power of three is two to the power of two times three, which is two to the power of six. So this one is two to the power of six then times two. According to our second formula, two to the power of six times two is two to the power of six plus one, which is equal to two to the power of seven. So this one is just four to the power of two to the power of seven. Of course, we also have this four on the base. It can also be simplified as two squared. Don't worry. It is two squared, all to the power of two to the power of seven. According to our first formula, it is two to the power of two times two to the power of seven. Again, two times two to the power of seven is two to the power of eight. Very simple and easy. This is the result. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.